Welcome to another episode of Incoming Indie. I am your host, Fedora Gamer, and today we are going to be taking a look at Project Temporality. As with any game on Incoming Indie, these are very early development builds. This is a alpha build. And uh, this game is currently on Indiegogo to try to get funding to finish the game. I will probably... I'll do one I've already done. Just so you don't have to watch me derpy my way through. This was developed by a small team of Swedish developers. It has been in development for three years and one of the more in, uh, impressive parts is that it uses a custom game engine which anyone that knows even the slightest bit about game development knows that is a ton more work and development time. But there is no engines out that could do what they wanted it to do so they made their own game engine. This, this game is well, more or less, it's a puzzle platformer with time manipulation, time clones, and time stream crossing mechanics. It gets really complex, actually. Okay. This this part's simple. I need to get across. But somebody has to be on the button. So I will rewind time. Give me a little bit of time here then spawn a time clone that will do exactly as I had done and the where you had stopped the clone will then just stop there indefinitely until you finish the level this puzzle is actually kinda long and very very vast you see the blue bar at the top there I am kinda stuck in the world a little bit as I said this is an alpha there we go that blue bar at the top is your battery for the implant the temporality temporality that's a hard word implant that allows you to do all of this and uh, you gotta manage that the more you rewind before you spawn a time clone the more energy it takes so you try have to try to do stuff as efficiently as possible okay those switches control this so we want to move it Let's see, I, want, I need as little time as possible, so I will run right over to it, stand on it, then rewind to about there, spawn that clone, that clone will go and stand on the switch, and I will continue on. It actually gets pretty mind-bending in some of the harder puzzles. The next level I haven't quite figured out yet, actually. Which is why I decided to do for this video one I have so you don't have to sit through the pain and watch me try to derp my way through a puzzle platformer. Okay. Now we have this key button which unlocks yellow door. Which I'm not, I don't quite remember where yellow door was. Let's see. Was that clear back at the beginning? Maybe this wasn't the very long puzzle I was thinking it was, but... Go. Hmm, did I not do this right? Okay, I see. Alright. Let's rewind quite a ways. I thought I had already done this puzzle. It doesn't seem that familiar. Maybe I selected the wrong level. I have to use that button. Okay. Actually, I'll reabsorb that clone and start over here. I don't remember this being this difficult. Alright, well... I'll stand on the button, time clone it, let that get to the end, give it some time at the end, and then have another time clone press the back button. But I gotta give enough time at the end for me to hit that button with a time clone and get back onto the platform after the key button is pressed. Okay, I'll give it like another five seconds. One. Two, three, four, five. Actually, I don't want to rewind yet. I want to step on it. Then rewind very little. Now, 
I, I have to rewind to before the button was pressed. So it's going to take a large chunk of my implant's battery. Ooh, almost rewound too far. Okay. Uh, jump. Ooh, I got it. And I, I hope my other clone does what it's supposed to, which is derping around like I was right now. And I'm getting instant messages. Ignore that. Rewind just... Oh, I'll rewind until I'm standing on the platform, actually. There you go. Go hit that. This other one should move me back. For an indie game, graphically, it looks pretty good. It, a little buggy, and controls and camera angles certainly need some work, but as I said, this is a very early alpha. The movement definitely feels really floaty. I, I don't know, maybe we'll chalk that up to this is all happening on some sort of space station, so maybe it's artificial gravity that isn't exactly right. We'll go with that. This platform will come back down here in one moment. Uh, one thing I will note is uh, the, probably the music isn't recording and maybe the sound effects aren't either. My recording software just was having issues recording it for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe because it's using a custom engine and s things that use custom engines are sometimes goofy with recording software. Okay, then I need to time clone myself again. And I'll just go right here. Rewind till I'm standing on it again, and I don't even have to move. It's a very clever use of the time stream manipulation, though it does certainly take a little bit to get your brain wrapped around it, and there's more complex complex mechanics involving it later on that gets just really kind of mind melting. Okay, and that opened yellow door, which is up here. All right, used up a good one third of my implant's power. It's an interesting storyline. You're a test subject for this implant, and you can find some uh, lore books like logs and such laying around that are pretty much of scientists that were put on the project questioning the morality and the implications of what it is they're trying to design. Okay, I need the red button which is in there. Right. Was there a... No, that's... Yeah, that's red. And then in the red will be for the green. I'm trying to remember how I exactly did this one. Give myself enough time to get to the platform. Then I need to step on this. And I'll just rewind till I was back at the platform. And let my time clone go do all the jumping. That should open that. Yes, it does. And I believe I will just pretty much have to do the same thing here. Let that time clone go do the hard work. And I will just simply wait for the door to open. I'm really liking it, even though I'm not much for puzzle games. This one is quite, well, challenging mentally. It's not so much about Twitch platforming skills as it just is mental, figuring out the right order and the timing. A lot of it has to do with timing. Which, you know, it's a time game. Okay, like this one. This one introduces the laser, which doesn't kill you, but pushes you off platforms, which then kills you. You have two buttons here. One is automatic. Once you press it, the platform just keeps moving. One has to, you have to remain standing on it. And this one took me quite a while to figure out yesterday, actually. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. 
this is the one that stops once you're off of it. And I want to stop it in the right place where that pillar protects me from the laser. Gotta wait till, for the laser to be going back the other direction. And I will stop this once it's under cover of the pillar, which is a little hard to tell from here. But I think there is good. And yeah, I wait till the laser goes back the other direction. And then I activate the other automatic platform. Wait till it gets past where I will be standing once I am putting this all into play. Okay, now I just rewind till before I press that button. Which takes quite a bit of rewinding, so this might take up most of my power that I have left, but I believe this is okay. Give myself enough time to get to the platform without getting lasered in the face. Alrighty, let's see if this works out how I want it to. It's like set up dominoes in the perfect order. Okay, that did put me in the correct spot. Now I just wait for the laser to make its way back. There is a considerable amount of waiting in this game, which is, you know, involves how you have to time everything just right. And I certainly don't do the puzzles perfectly, but I manage. Okay. Laser is blocked. I think I timed that absolutely perfectly for a change. Sometimes like, oh, ah, ah, barely get onto the platform, barely jump tiptoe onto it. And that is the end of this level. This is Project Temporality. Uh, it's a hard word, I can never remember it. As I said, this is on Indiegogo, looking to get funding to try to finish the game. If you want to check it out, I will have the link to the Indiegogo in the description as well as the game's website. I've been Fedora Gamer. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.